I leave in five days. Selling pretty much everything that I own. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it around. Unless I'm like settle down, have kids. It's happening. <laughs> what I look like right now? is what I feel like right now. My eye, okay, I woke up an hour and a half ago and I laid in bed for like 45 minutes, maybe almost an hour, did a little something something on my phone, did a little reading and I just like wanted to close my eyes again for like five minutes. So I was like, okay, oh, it's too bright in here. So I, so I lay like this. I fell asleep for over an hour with my arms above my head, covering my eyeballs, indenting my face, and then my eyes all swollen. <laughs> Anyways, good morning, guys. I hope you're having a beautiful day up there. I'm gonna shove my glasses back on my face so I feel less self-conscious about the way that I look, even though my hair is, I don't. Welcome to menstruation. That's the vibe. Ugh. It's like the couple days leading up, a few days leading up, and then like the first like two or three days. I'm like, why is six days out of the month gotta suck? You know, and it's just like a little bit of suck. Like it's not like I've been in like dire cramps or pain or like whatever, although some months that's like that. But it's just that like overarching feeling of complete tiredness that just, I need matcha. Uh, huh. Feel like a grandmother. <laughs> When you feel like this and you just get like that first sip of caffeinated beverage in the morning. Yes. 81 as well. And shake, 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 shake. <sighs> existential crisis. <laughs> I'm having the slowest morning of my life. <laughs> I ended up reading for half an hour and then texting Veronica for a half an hour. And we text, we text. We are back and forth. Bing, 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 bing. Anyways, that brings us to almost noon. And I have not had breakfast yet. So let's have a little French toast moment. I've made a recipe like this on this channel many times, but it's super delicious when you have fresh bread in the house, which I have. <laughs> mash half of the banana in a bowl. This one was yucky. Half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a little dash of cinnamon, quarter cup of plant milk. Mix together really well. Set that aside, pull out a cutting board, pull the bread knife, slice your bread. If your cutting board is moving around, put a damp paper towel underneath it. Add coconut oil to your pan. Dip your bread into the banana mixture and then place it in the pan. I'm gonna mix half of a scoop of Sprout Living's complete coffee protein powder in with some coconut yogurt. Splash of plant milk, plate your French toast, plate your yogurt. I'm gonna make the yogurt look good. Thoroughly impressed with this moment here, but it's okay. Pumpkin seeds, coconut chips, Drizzle generously with maple syrup. 
The lighting is just one million times better here. I leave in five days, which is so insane. <laughs> this six weeks that I've been back in Canada has flown by. It's been insane and I just can't believe that I'm hopping on a plane. In the last vlog I told you I'm going somewhere hot all the way across the world and it's happening. I didn't tell you guys where, but I made you guess in the comments section. No one said the exact country, but you've said the region. But this is just the first country that I'm visiting. I am going to many different places over the next year or two of my life, and I'm just allowing the flow to carry me. With that being said, we have to get some more stuff done. I've been selling pretty much everything that I own. <laughs> I am selling my car tomorrow. Tomorrow it will be gone. It's been causing me so much anxiety to get this thing off my chest. I love my car, but I got to do some stuff before we go. We gotta do some stuff. So let's go do some stuff. bothering me my hair's in my face okay we gotta do something about this this has been my go-to hairstyle over the last couple weeks mainly to just get my hair away from my face happy glasses on kind of takes you a second to get used to but once you get used to it it's good <laughs> see look how cool and sad everything is now happy cool sad happy sad there are some clothes that I just, it makes me sad that I'm not bringing with me. Like this shirt, I like this shirt. I'll find another shirt. It's okay, it's okay, Julia. Should I keep it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it around just in case I decide that I wanna pack it. A massive thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I love how easy it is to build a website with them. Choose one of their pre-made templates. They have so many beautiful ones to choose from. And then from there, drag things around. You can just, you can just move stuff. Just move it around, make the line longer, make the picture bigger, make it smaller, make the words different. Add a section. It's so simple to make something unique and beautiful and functioning for you and your business on the front end and on the back end. Book your clients, send out beautiful email campaigns, and any questions that you have along the way, contact their award-winning customer service. If you want to try out Squarespace, head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, head to squarespace.com slash Julia Ayers to get 10% off of your first purchase of a domain or website. Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Okay. Let's get the stuff into the storage unit before the sun goes down because it goes down at like four o'clock. And I have a few things to do today, but let's bang them out so we can go on a little evening stroll before the sun goes down and soak up a little bit of this beautiful nature that I'm in because I'm only here for a little bit longer and I do really 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 love it here I'm definitely coming back just not in the cold it's brutal out here in the cold <laughs> Time. Hey. I feel you 
I'm gonna be on a beach on Christmas. I feel like I kept too much stuff, but I have to keep a storage unit no matter what because I have grandma stuff and things that are, you know, sentimental to me, which gave me the excuse to keep more than I would have liked to. But I don't know, like there's certain things that I just, I couldn't, I couldn't let go. But I am giving some stuff away to friends, which means it's still gonna be in my life, just in a different way. So let's drop off some cute freaking things to my friend Natalie. She deserves it. And I also couldn't let them go, so. <laughs> Here? Yes, over there. Uh, I'm gonna make these vegetables go in hummus and then I'm gonna eat <laughs> That's them. That's pretty fancy. Are you recording that? Yep. Damn. You gotta keep it real. Just gotta, you gotta keep it, keep it honest. Everything. Is that um. The sun is going down so soon. It is not even four o'clock yet, but because we didn't have breakfast until noon, I was little snack and poo. Go for a nice brisk walk, get some exercise in, and go make some food. And we're back to hairstyle number one of the day. I'm like trying not to wash my hair as much right now, so that's why it looks really greasy, because, well, it is greasy. To get the natural oils flowing a little bit better. My cake. Pomelo and chocolate probably oh. do not go well together at all. The real question is, do I eat the pomelo first or the chocolate cake first? Chocolate cake. I was thinking that. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like have have the sugary fill first. Chop about a block of tofu into steaks. Heat a pan and add some olive oil. Once the pan is hot, add your tofu. Chop half of a large shallot or half of an onion. One large carrot. Slice up some brown mushrooms. Chop up some garlic and thinly sliced ginger. Once the tofu is crispy, add your carrot, celery, and shallot or onion. Throw in your ginger and garlic. Half teaspoon cumin, half a teaspoon of coriander. Add one potato. Add two tablespoons of green curry paste. Add one tablespoon of sugar. <laughs> So Chop and add a bunch of spinach. Yeah. Mm. Add half of a bouillon cube. I forgot to add it before, but 
Yeah, I'll add it any time. It's a soup cube. Oh, like a soup cube? Yeah. <laughs> Although I didn't have the most productive day in the world, I am pretty proud of myself for how tired I was at the beginning of it for what I did get done today. And that's just, that's just life. Especially as a woman, you go through different levels of energy at different points of the month. And the more you accept that about yourself, the more grace you can bring into your life and the more acceptance you can bring into your life in these moments. Like I'm not angry with myself for not like killing this day and being like so productive. And I wasn't feeling it. Like I just wanted to go for a walk and drink tea and eat some yummy food. And that's what I wanted to do. So I did that and I got a little bit done. I got what I could done. I know at points I would like force myself to do so much during these times. And the more I just allow myself to flow into my feelings and move a little bit slower, the happier I am little reminder to take things slow when you need to take things slow and ultimately it'll help your creativity it, it will help your productiveness however i need a shower i've been craving one all day you know when you just you just you know We're saying goodbye. I lived in this car for two summers and I have to say goodbye to it to go on the next adventure, which is very exciting. So goodbye Tiguan. You've been good to me. You've been my home. You've been amazing. I haven't done anything other than change your oil and fix a flat tire. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta go for it to keep on living life. And honestly, I would, I'm not gonna buy an expensive car ever again. Unless I'm like settle down, have kids, have a home, have a husband, have a foundation. Because it's just so annoying to get rid of. Like going to the bank, gotta do this, blah, blah, blah. It's really funny because I got rid of this car to get this car. Not actually this car, but the same kind of car. And now we're saying goodbye to both at the same time. Well. This is the end of today's video. Hit the like button, subscribe button, truly appreciate it. I truly would not be able to do what I do and travel the world and be the adventurer that my heart has always called to be. I wouldn't be able to live 15 year old me's journal dreams without you. Truly, truly appreciate you. You have no idea how happy it makes me to have your support and for a little bit, I haven't been answering comments just because I've been trying to allow my brain to just be me and not be manipulated or um, influenced, I should say, not manipulated by anything. I don't want to be influenced by anything. So I've been taking a little bit of a break from answering messages and answering comments and stuff just for my own mental sanity, but I'm feeling very connected to the universe and to you and to me and I'm just <sighs> grateful to feel a little bit more myself recently and yeah I'm very grateful to have you here I'm not crying you're crying I'm not crying you're crying <laughs> yeah 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 
I am jumping on an airplane very, very soon. On December 1st, I'm flying to, I'm not telling you, it'll be a little surprise. There are gonna be a couple videos coming out after this one, um, still in this place, but they were just filmed before this. And yeah, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I truly appreciate it. I love you so very much. Have a beautiful rest of your damn day and I'll see you again so very soon. Mwah.